Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to the latest iOS 14. So let's get started. Let's just go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see your very first option where it's going to say your device's name or maybe your own name. From there, what I want you to do is make an iCloud backup. If you guys have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer and use iTunes in order to back it up or even update it if you're having problems. Same goes with Mac users. You guys can use Finder in order to back it up and even update it. Anyways, for now, we're just gonna scroll down. We're gonna see General. Under General, we're gonna see the second option where it says Software Update. Let's just tap right there. And then this should load up. Some of you may only see Install at this point in time. Don't worry about it. That just means it downloaded at 2.35 gigs already. So that's how big this iOS update is. This update itself has quite a bit to it. If you guys want to find more, more information, you can always click on that link. But anyways, let's just get started and press download and install. If you have a passcode, it's gonna ask you for one. If you don't have a passcode, it's just not gonna ask you. It's gonna go right into this terms and conditions. Just tap on agree on the bottom right hand side. And then again on the right hand side, you're gonna see agree. And from there, the downloading process will start. So how long will this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. However, something I do want to mention is that if your iPhone, iPad or touch turns off when it's downloading the iOS update, it's no big deal. You guys can just start it all over. However, if it turns off or something happens when it's installing the update itself, then that's a problem. That's when we get into restoring your iDevice. Restoring means deleting everything and then since we have a backup, we can bring it back up. But it, it is a process and it is a problem. So to avoid any problems like that from happening, just have it hooked up to some electricity. Even if you're at 95% like I am right now, I would still recommend hooking it up to some electricity so that way nothing happens. And I tell you this because sometimes there are glitches in the battery itself and it might just turn off. Others might have batteries are not 100%. So... This is just a safety measurement. For now, we're just gonna wait until it's 100% and then it's gonna restart our phone. We're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, then it's gonna restart again and we would be almost done. So after 20 to 25 minutes, again, really depending on your internet speed, this will show up. So it's just gonna say install now. And right now, this is the part where it's gonna turn off and so on. So we're gonna hit on install now. It's just gonna verify the update and then it's just gonna turn off. So about another 10 minutes, your iPhone will tell you that it's being updated. And then you just have to put in your passcode if you have one. It's not gonna ask you for your iCloud ID for those of you who have the question. And right now, if we go into our settings under general software update, we should see iOS 14. So your software should be up to date. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.